So it is 10 past five in the morning and we are taking um, a train to Sapporo and then we're gonna get a three hour coach from Sapporo to go to Shao, is it Shiraoi? Shiraoi, I think it's called. But we're doing a strawberry tour. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. So I realised in post that I literally didn't even sound alive in that clip, but anyways, the local train in Otaru literally felt like I was on the train in Spirited Away. It was incredible. But yeah, the coach journey was about three hours and they stopped off at a couple of waterfalls along the way, which was super, super nice. We were initially told by the company that the meal provided at the location would be fish, but the tour guide basically let us know about 50 minutes before we got there that the menu had actually changed and the whole coach pulled over at 7-Eleven just so that I could grab my own food to heat up so that I would have something to eat, which was super, super kind of them. The meal provided was basically this like hot stone meat thing that you cook yourself. Um, obviously, I don't eat meat, but it looked super nice and everyone said that it tasted really good. Um, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just went to pick up some strawberries and then we basically had to go buy family separate food from 7-Eleven because <laughs> the whole meal was lunch was meat. <laughs> But the guy was so cute, he let us know before we got there and stopped off at a 7-Eleven like 10 minutes before so that I could get some food and like heat up. Why is Mikiko going to pick some things off the plant? I don't know what's going on. My auntie's met someone and she's picking some vegetables. Just village things. I don't know what's going on. What is it? Oh, it's mushrooms. My auntie's picking up, picking up. This is <laughs> That's so funny. Um, and then, so it's so humid, as you can tell. My hair is like all over the place. Doesn't matter. There's no point doing your hair in Japan, by the way, if you visit during summer because it's so humid that no matter what you do to it, it will just look like shit. But yeah, then we went and picked strawberries. You got a little tiny, stingy little cup, and you could fill it up. But then everyone was just eating the strawberries whilst they were filling it up anyway. Um, and then we, they took us just now to this like mini waterfall, which is cute. And then we're gonna go to a mushroom kingdom apparently. So yeah. For context, I'm not sure if this is a thing in mainland Japan, but in Hokkaido, it's basically a chain store and they specialize in just selling loads of different mushrooms basically but they do like really good food pastries and they also sell um loads of souvenirs and stuff like that but it's awesome to be honest we have all the different types of mushrooms here um, that don't have chemicals in them have also little spirited away again which is really cute. And they have super, super cute. I'm getting a little frog. Some cute little band cats. Oh, look at these. They're so cute. Hello. Oh my god, I'm sweating so badly. Hi guys. Excuse the background. I've got sort of a pair of trousers here and some boxes in the back. Today we're going up Tenguyama. Which, by the way, if you know, is my favourite emoji to use. And that is the Japanese... What is it? Demon? Goblin? You know Tengu. Tengu. The one with the big nose. That's my favourite emoji, if you know me. And we're going up to his mountain. There's a little cable cart that goes up and there's like a little museum at the top. I don't know if you can see, I'm sweating. It's literally... I put on my makeup and after half an hour, it was, I was sweating it off. The humidity in Japan is literally crazy. Like, it is so hot and so humid. Like, you just can't survive. Do not visit during peak summertime. Save yourself and visit Japan during spring or winter. Did you used to come skiing here? Yeah, I did. I can hear it really quietly. I can hear it. What do you want to Oh, there's 
Everyone. So today um, we are actually going to the Ishiro Matsuri Festival in Otaru. It's just like another summer festival um, in Japan. And there's basically like loads of stores where you can get food and you can get like you can play games. There's like firework and everyone wears a yukata to go. And like a couple weeks ago, my first week here, we actually went and picked out yukata for me. So we're gonna go pick that up now. And then my auntie has a hair salon and she's actually gonna do my hair for me. And you're basically meant to wear the yukata to the festival. I genuinely think you might pass out if you wear it in this heat. It's like 30 degrees and it's only 9 a.m. So imagine how hot it's gonna be in a couple hours. So it's a bit of a shame. Um, I'll see how hot it is when we get there. So this footage here, we're going back in time, is actually from a couple weeks ago when I went to go pick out and pre-order my yukata for the festival. I basically just wanted a navy or a black yukata, even though my grandma kept telling me to get a pink one, but anyway, these are the two options that I was deciding between, and I ended up going with the darker one, and I chose this blue overbelt as well, which was super cute. And look how cute the street opposite the kimono shop was. Actual chef's kiss. So pretty. I almost cried. So anyways, here is a time lapse of me getting my yukata put on. Um, this clip is actually sped up by like 3000% or something because it took them a little over 30 minutes to get everything on. As you can see, there's a lot of layers and it's very intricate so it takes a very long time but it literally looked insane in the end. Um, and as you can see from the amount of layers that I have on, it was 34 degrees outside and it was only 11am at that point so I couldn't keep the yukata on for long because I literally felt like I was going to pass out. Um, you can barely sit down in them and it's really hard to breathe but they did such a sick job and it looked insane so I was very very happy. I feel like I have to do the video like this so you can see my hair and I don't look bald. Hi everyone! It's been a hot minute. I feel like I always vlog before I go out and then I never like wrap things up. Um, but if anyone wants to rent a yukata if they're in Otaru, a lot of hairdressers, not all of them, but some of them offer yukata services where they'll do your hair and do your yukata for you and put it on for you professionally because they're quite hard to put on yourself. But if anyone ever wants to do that in Otaru, I will put the name of the yukata shop that we rented it from, who we are really, really nice. And also my auntie owns a hair salon and they were the ones who did my hair and did my yukata dressing for me. So if you're ever in Otaru and want to do the same thing, we're not doing anything on Sunday and on Monday we're actually going on holiday for a week and we're travelling all around the Northern Ireland which I'm really excited for um, so yeah um, I will see you guys very shortly mm -hmm. 